محمد سید الاولین آخرین مدد رسول الله مدد سادات اصحاب رسول الله مدد هم شخص این دست و رمضان شما فضل حسن شما محمد علی مدد تاریخات نو صحبه و خیر و جمعی رمضان سونا Starting with the 20th, meaning the last 10 days, is the Sunnah of our Holy Prophet It's Sunnah Mu'akkada, confirmed Sunnah of Atikaf. Those who are going to do it, inshallah, starting tomorrow night, they make the intention and enter into Atikaf for 10 days, starting tomorrow night, inshallah. Those who will not do it, when coming in and out of the mosque, can make the intention for etikaf, say I'm making the niyyah for etikaf, and within this period they would also get the virtues written for them. This is a great virtue for people. If one person does not do it in a town, then everybody would be devout of cut from that virtue and the good deeds. It has great rewards. It's a barakah, blessing. It can be done in masjids or in assigned special places. Inshallah. Now, because of certain requirements and necessities in these situations, again, may Allah forgive us, the mosques are shut. It can be done in private places too. It is said. For necessity, there are other judgments and regulations. Usually it would not be done anywhere outside of a mosque, but under these circumstances it can be done outside the mosque because it's a necessary obligation, it's a necessary worship. If not done, then a person would be embarrassed in front of the Prophet as a nation, as a community, Ummah, we would be embarrassed to face him. Yet, thank Allah, there are plenty of people who are doing this sunnah. May Allah accept this worship of theirs. Now people are confusing, mixing up etikaf and khalwa, seclusion. Etikaf is different than seclusion, than you sit in the mosque and fast. In Khalwa, you only eat things such as lentils and very little food. But here in Etikaf, you can eat. There's no restrictions on eating. And you do your worship. You just do not get out the mosque. In Khalwa, you only do lentils, and it's done outside of Ramadan, either in the Hijjah or in Rajab. It starts from the beginning of the Qadah until the Hijjah, or from Rajab until the 10th of Shaban. The difference between them is exists, there are differences between them. As was said before, ladies can do the etikaf in their homes. They do not need to come to the mosque. Those who are in etikaf do not come out the house until they finish. Until then they do their worships, they assign a special place in their homes, and they do it there. Allah will accept it. What they do, again, so even if no men did it, but the ladies did it, again, that 
requirement would fall from the Ummah. So somebody has to definitely do it, this worship. The Prophet ﷺ never left this Sunnah. In fact, a certain one year, because of some necessity, he could not do it. The next year, he did 20 days in the Masjid Nabawi. May Allah bless it, make him mubarak. And may he descend his barakah upon us. May we be protected from these situations. This is a spiritual strength and a spiritual protection for us. It's a great virtue for us. And most people are not even aware of it. The world does not turn with what we see. There are certain unseen forces, spiritual forces. That's what the world turns with and is standing with. Otherwise, if it's not or their accounting and with their calculations, it doesn't work that way. A man can make as many as much calculations they want. As long as that spirit is not there, then it's of no use. May Allah help people to understand this. May it be strength for our faith. May it be Mubarak, inshallah, this atikaf.